Okay, we're getting uh, ready shortly here. We've got one more minute to start. And we're just putting one more computer online. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, let me see if I can play a little recording here. Why not? come back here and get online. How was that introduction to get underway? Let me see if I can show my screen here. We've got a lot of buttons on the screen here to get going here. Start showing my webcam. I think I, oh, that was it. I want to keep that going, but I do want to show my screen here if we can. And I think I have to close this other screen here somehow, if I can. Um, going to get right into it here with the mobile phones and this is our presentation getting underway and I'm actually getting my mobile phone online here so that I can show you the front page of it and the whole world is going mobile and uh, you may or may not be using it as much as you want but it's just another tool it's like gardening tools you have many tools to do work in the garden this is just another tool uh, to help you do business but it's an important tool 
It's a tool that can help you make money for the rest of your life. And what I'm going to do, let me see if I can stop that sound there so that we don't get any feedback. Disconnect from audio, so that's going to help. And what I've got to do now is go to my, uh, I think it's this one here. Let's see if I can make that the presenter here. I'm sure you want to make here. Let's get presenter. Okay, there we go. I did it. Please join from a computer. You need to share your webcam. Okay, got it. And bingo, you're going to see something very fabulous come on the screen. And there it is. It took me a little while, but I got it. I've got my phone on the recording for the GoToWebinar session that we're transmitting worldwide right now. And we think that everyone in the world, you know, when they go to conferences and conventions, one of the things that we can do is to make everyone in the world connect their haves and wants with everyone else in the world. And how we do that very easily, one of them is with this app. We've got many tools. I'm just showing one right now. And this comes up on the screen. And when I click on commercial, uh, this comes up on the screen, uh, a little form. And when I click on the bottom of the form search database, up comes the listings on the screen. If you want to see them a little larger, you can probably turn it sideways and you can see them read it a little bit more. There's going to be bigger printing. And oh, there we are. There's 76 acres zone for making marijuana. How about that? That was the very first listing on the screen. I didn't intend it that way, but that's just the way it came up. But it goes to show you that there's a lot of business being done with that kind of an industry. And you can make connections for it for storage capacities, for building it. And it's now legalized in Canada, actually. Uh, let's go back here, and I'm going to restart it. And on the form that you see, there's different ways that you can search. Right now, you'll notice that I've got Canada, Ontario, and Greater Toronto highlighted. But just to show you, if I was to click on that, it covers every area of the world. And if I was to click on USA or Mexico, Caribbean, Caribbean and the Central, Central America, so if you were in Nicaragua or Ecuador, everyone can connect on this service through these mobile phones. Picture yourself going to a world convention. You spend several thousand dollars to go there, and you're in a room with four to 5,000 other people. Would you like to know what it is that they are working on, their real estate haves and wants? If the answer is yes, stay with me. Would you like them to know about your real estate haves and wants? Would you like that? It's all being done through ICI World Worldwide right now. It's like being in a great big conference room with 100,000 people, and they can put their information on here. And this is how it works. Somebody just simply comes down here, clicks on search database, and bingo, you can go through these listings. Now, right now, these are just the listings coming in one at a time by date. But if I go back further and I click on this again, you'll notice that I can sort them by price. I'm going to sort the same listings by price. And bingo, there they are coming up on the screen. So what we have are about 532 listings that have been put on here all within the last 90 days. Everything that you're seeing on these mobile devices, there's a responsibility now on the part of the whole industry to keep your information up to date less than 90 days old. Otherwise, they're not being shown in the initial display. So you could be missing doing deals and not realize it, even if you're a member. We're letting you know, keep them less than 90 days old. Now, if somebody is clicking on one of these, and I'll click on one of these just for fun, you notice this is coming for sale. These listings I'm showing you today are not on real estate boards. In fact, if you look down at the word control down here, down near the bottom, you'll see it's exclusive. So that 75% of the commercial listings on ICI World are actually exclusive, not on the real estate board. Now I can choose to zero in on things by taking it haves or wants, changing it to a have, and these are just the properties for sale and for lease right now. There they are. But I'd like to sort them by price. Now, you know something? When I clicked on that and I went back, there was another option to go back way up at the top, a little left arrow way up at the top. This kept on kicking me back out. 
I'm on an Android. Sometimes it happens on an iPhone. But I'm going to go ahead and search by price again. And I'm just going to pick the halves. And I happen to be on business opportunities. And I'm going to go ahead and search. And up comes business opportunities basically from $20 million on down. Now, I've been clicking on that little arrow way down at the bottom to go back. But I'm going to suggest that you should be clicking on the arrow up at the top. And when I click on that one, it takes me back to the three choices. If I click on commercial, do the same thing. I want to sort them as I have. Sort them by price and do a search database. Bingo. Up comes 295 listings sorted by price, and you can go right to the price range of whatever it is that you want. I'm going to try that back button up there. That one takes me right back out. You know on the iPhone, it takes you back a screen? On the iPhone, it kicks me back out. <laughs> I'm learning more things about these things as we go along, and we're the ones that design it. And we have to get the programmers to do what they want to do. So I'm going to suggest, when you have suggestions, I'm going to give you an email address. It's called feedback at iciworld.com. We would love to have everyone listening to this to provide their feedback to us at feedback at iciworld.com. So anything you see that you think can be improved, can it do this, can it do that, a lot of times, sometimes it can't do those things, but there's what we call a workaround that gets something accomplished better than what you even your question was trying to do. I'll give you an example. Sometimes people want to send a listing directly from here, directly to someone. We're recommending you do something else that's maybe even a better long term in your relationship with that buyer that you're sending it to. What you do is you send your buyer to your website. Your website should be mobilized just like this one is right here. This is a mobilized website where people can search your website if you're a realtor. Okay. And all the information comes up very, very nicely. Now, you'll notice on the right hand side, on the menu bar, you'll see the word menu on the left, and there's three little lines on the right. When you click on those three little lines, you'll see some choices come up. I'll make it a little bit bigger so they can see it a little bit better. And yeah, you need the glasses and sometimes bifocals, but there's a way to make all the printing on your phone larger. We're not going to get into that now, but if you know that's the case, you can go to your operator of the phone and say, how do I make the printing bigger? They will make it bigger. There's a way to improve the size of the screen. And sometimes within the app, you can make the printing bigger as well. But I'm going to, every broker has residential on their uh, mobile website to search, and they should also have commercial as well. But not every broker has exclusives, which I'm going to click on exclusives. These are all coming from ICI World. So if you're talking to an owner or a buyer, for let's say an apartment building, a shopping center, a business, anything at all. And if they happen to be in Ontario, you can click on Ontario Commercial. If they're any place else in the world, click on World Mostly Exclusive. And if they're looking in Ontario, they can click on World Mostly Exclusive as well. They can do that too. Both buttons will do that. Some tools do more than the others, them. Some tools do them more in another way. These are called information tools for your broker's information toolbox. And if you're in the business, whether you're doing financing or mortgaging or whether you're doing your buying or you're selling, all of these are connections to do deals. I mentioned financing because some of the largest transactions started from a real estate mortgage broker talking to an agent on our service, that mortgage broker was doing some financing on a $75 million office building, and he saw the want from one of our members here. Somebody wanted to buy office buildings from 20 to $100 million. That broker 
mortgage broker called the mortgage or the agent and said, do you have a real buyer? Because, you know, most things on the internet, people don't believe them. <laughs> That's why we have realtors. Because we qualify these things, qualify the buyers, the tire kickers, the curiosity seekers, the time wasters, the fraud artists. All of these people are being qualified by the brokers on this network to protect the public and to come up with qualified opportunities. Do you get the odd bad apple with real estate people? Perhaps, but not as much as some of the other professions that are out there from what I've seen. Now, I'm a realtor. I've been a broker for 45 years. They usually got a big heart to try to help each and every one of you. We are a society of real estate brokers and salespeople. And I'm the manager of the society, the chief cook and bottle washer, you could say, the founder, uh, to get this service going. And it didn't happen by myself. It happened with each and every one of you out there. <laughs> You've all been helping. You all give me tips and ideas and what we can do next. And then we have support staff that can do these things and put them into effect. My strength, I think, is the determination that we're just going to keep on building this service no matter what because we are inspired by you, the members, by you, the public, by everyone who uses this service. You go to any one of our sites. You'll see testimonials. You read them. These are deals that were not done on any real estate board. They were done by licensed real estate brokers and salespeople who are members of real estate boards. But there's a lot of information that can't go on a real estate board because you can't get a signed listing. And that's what today's session is about, to show you how you can network information, something that you can think in your brain. Aha, this person wants to sell their office building but they're not going to give me a listing. That is a thought. That's all that is. That thought can go on ICI World. And now they're sharing that thought with you. It's amazing. And it's working. Last year, the largest sale at the Toronto Real Estate Board were, was $28 million. Members on ICI World have done two deals over... $50 million. One of them had 14 offers. That shows you that the reach and the power of ICI World is tremendous because of all the other major companies that were in the business. It was two members on ICI World that did that deal. And that happened with the other deal as well. So um, that's the power of networking and the reason it's so powerful. We've been doing it since 1994. We were actually the first company on the internet in 1994. There was only 14 companies on the internet in 1994 for real estate. It wasn't even Google at that time. It was Alta Vista. <laughs> and we were one of the 14. So we saw this wave of information coming. And um, one of the things I want to just share with you right away, and I'm going to show it on the screen, see if I can find it was a statement by Bill Gates. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Uh, hang on one second. Oh, I typed it in twice, that's why. Here it is. Now, Bill Gates wrote a book called At the Speed of Thought. And it's significant. And this was done I think in the late 90s, we were already doing this service, putting thoughts on the internet, but this reinforced it 100%, this book called At the Speed of Thought. And one of the things that he spoke to, and this was in the beginning in the 90s when he was speaking to Warren Buffett about the internet, that the cost to publish your information, getting your information in front of someone, talking with people around the world, is zero or so close to zero, it really doesn't make any difference. I mean, our service is $319 per year, $40 per month if you want. But with our VIP corporate card, you get discounts. It can add up more than the $300. With our referral, referral programs, if you bring somebody on board, we reduce it 25%. But how do you measure 
a return on investment when somebody makes a hundred thousand dollars and they joined ICI World for three hundred and nineteen dollars. We've got brokers making tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, even brokers that have made over one million dollars. And it's all from working with thoughts on the internet. But a specialized service, there is nothing else like it. All of the real estate boards of the world, the loop nets of the world, and the, the, all the comps, every you name it, they, you need a signed listing, and it should be that way. It should be that you need a signed listing because that way you're working with the best way to market real estate in the world today through the MLS. You put something on the MLS, they put it on the internet where there's 4 billion people. They make a connection, you go sell it. In one recent case, there was one broker in Hamilton, he had a listing and he got 32 showings. This is in the middle of the pandemic towards the end and ended up getting about 10 offers and sold it. So that's the beauty of the MLS. But what happens if you can't put something on the MLS? That's a shame. That opportunity and how this service started was from the Toronto Real Estate Board in the CCIM marketing sessions, where I was the membership chairman for many years, past president. But I did a lot of the helpful, I enjoyed helping the networking of all the brokers that were in that room and I sort of grew into this. Somebody would stand up and say, we do a have and want marketing session and say, I have a lawyer and he has a $13 million office or a shopping center. Would anybody have a buyer? And bingo, three hands would go up in a room. And so I would collect the cards from these three other brokers walking around the auditorium, <clears throat> clicking the three cards and giving those three cards to that particular broker that had that shopping center so that they could go out afterwards at their own convenience and discuss the possible marketing and sale of that property and they can do it in privately amongst themselves. Nobody knew where the shopping center was. Nobody knew the buyers except for these three brokers. But you know something? 65%, we did a survey. I did the survey actually. <laughs> In that ad, 65% of all the members of the CCIM chapter had done business with other members of the chapter. That's because of the relationships that you can develop. Now, relationships is still the bottom line of this business. You can take all these computers and throw them out the window if you can't establish a business relationship with someone you're still not going to maybe do business. So developing business relationships is important, but the contacts to find the right person for that business relationship is very, very important. One moment, uh, um, please hang on one second. Hello, okay, I'm still talking. Oh, I see, I'm gonna have to decline that phone call there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm actually trying to make better sound by calling in through this phone with a headset because yesterday I tried talking through the internet and it was nothing but static. And so I'm hardwired into the internet and I'm hardwired into the phone. And that phone, I can't prevent calls, um, but I can see who it was and we can call that lady back later. Although we're teaching everyone to do something special, and I'm gonna show you now, because sooner or later, I gotta cover all of these items that I'm covering now. And our PowerPoint will be used as a summary at the end to make sure that I didn't forget anything. But whoever wants an appointment with us to help you make money connecting with people to do real estate transactions, financing, you click on make an appointment. That's the only way we can handle. We can't have 100 people calling us in one day. And I'm going to, uh, let's see if I can, I am gonna have to just decline it. Usually it says I can call that number back, but they're calling me on another phone, which I have ringing on another phone. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I'm available, 
no matter where we travel in the world, I can be in Europe and that phone will ring and I can answer it right in Europe. And we've done it. I was uh, you know, in different countries and answering the phone, just like I'm talking to you now. So once you're on the internet, we're all connected. We're, we're all together. It's one great big business family out here. <laughs> and it's wonderful. And if I could just get more and more and more of you all together, you're gonna to be doing more and more deals. It's wonderful. So when you want to talk, you click on 60 minutes and then you click on any day you want. I'm going to go right into next week sometime and there's all the times available. You just pick a time. Now, to give you an example of today on Wednesday, that's the only time available today. Tomorrow, there's just a few times. So within the first one, two, three days, it's actually difficult to have an appointment. Okay. Once in a while, um, okay, let's just go back here now. Hang on. <clears throat> now, where else does this website help that I was just showing? Well, I'm going to show you. You send people to your website. If you're a licensed real estate broker and salesperson and you don't have a website, shame on you. It's the most powerful tool that you can have. You know, it's like having a toaster. It's like having a microwave. It's like having a stove or fridge. you got to have the essential tools in the business to cook up some business. <laughs> okay? This is a website. You've got to have it. Let me come back to where I am. And this is, this is what we're showing right now. Now, if somebody's looking for a, uh, an apartment building and you're sitting with them at Kelsey's or some restaurant, Olive Garden in Florida, any place at all in the world, you click on the commercial and up comes, in this case, if you're looking in Ontario, you'll see that you've got the cities, you've got the towns, and you've got the keywords. If somebody's looking for a hotel or motel, what are you going to click on? Not golf courses and not Highway 407, but in between, bingo, there they are hotels and when I search this I suggest is absolutely amazing the way all the hotels and the motels buyers and sellers are on the screen by keyword a piece of information that we've translated from your brain you want to make a connection for anything at all that has a keyword put it on ICI world somebody can see it and there's one right there, a motel. You click on it, and you can't do it. Why is the question? Well, watch this. If this is your website, and if somebody is interested in a property on your website, do you want them to get the other broker, or do you want them to contact you? If this is your website, they should contact you. You spent all the money to get this website. You spent money to get your real estate license, tens of thousands of dollars of your time, effort, energy, learning, training. And while you're doing all that spending money, you had no money to live in the meantime. It's a big investment to get your real estate license. And you don't have a website? That's like somebody going fishing in a boat and they don't even have a fishing rod. Now, you have information on your screen. I'm going to go back to Ontario Commercial. And if somebody happens to be interested in an apartment building, that's the wants. You're not going to click on the wants. But your customers will appreciate it because they will see how many buyers you are connected to, if I click on the apartment buildings, look at that, 278 buyers of shopping centers, sorry, apartment buildings. And you go down here and look at that. Look at all the wants. You're well connected. When you're on the service, you're very well connected. That's one of the reasons we've had a hard time growing. It becomes something that people keep close to the vest. 
it's a competitive advantage. But we're reaching out, letting people know one-on-one. But ultimately, from a professional point of view, I suggest that every broker in the world have it. There's more opportunities, and the more opportunities will lead to more deals for each and every one of you as a result. But let's go down further, and you're going to see the haves come up on the screen. And if somebody wants to buy a shopping center, click on shopping centers, and up comes a list of 193 shopping centers, 90% between 75 and 90% of these, they're not on real estate boards, and probably never will be. We'd like them to be. There's one way they can be. Have the real estate board adopt our service. Every seminar we do, every webinar we do, we ask a question. Would you like your real estate board to provide this service to your members? They all say yes, everyone. Now, some say, I don't know, because they're new and they don't know. And they don't want to upset other people. Once they know, they want it. They can see the benefit. I mean, if there's a shopping center here and you have a buyer, there's the shopping centers that are not on the real estate boards right now. But they're on ICI World. And I have a way to show you how this can be on your real estate board. I have a way to show you how this can be on your company website. So, and this has just been introduced, people, within the last five days. I'm going to say June of 2020, we have now some special tools for the real estate industry that we never had before. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's see if I can do it. I have to switch the computer back to me if I can. (laughs) Let me see if I can do it. One moment, please. Here we go. Um, make presenter. Here we go. And I'm going to give you another website. Let's see if we can do it here. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to type in something called realestatehavesandwants.com. New website, June 2020. Okay, and I'm saying that now because we've been on the internet since 1994. We were actually the first company on the internet in 1994. And since then, we've gone through the school of hard knocks. As a matter of fact, we're in touch with a book publisher to eventually publish a book. And we'd like to interview some of you, by the way, on some of the things that you go through that are very interesting in the real estate business and we're gonna be reaching out to you when we get closer to doing that. But right now, if you go down the page, you'll see it's a global service supplied by the ICA World Real Estate Brokers. Now the picture on the right is not working, and it's supposed to be. I'm going to refresh the page, and for some reason, it's not coming up, and I'm gonna have to actually decline that message as well from that lady. And go down here, and you can read about what ICI World is all about. Oh, there it is. The picture does does come up. It actually shows up more on a mobile device. But maybe we can change that picture later. But you're going to see that there's guidance here. And for members, you can basically, there's only two things you do when you're a member. You search every few days. That's it. You make a connection and go try to do a deal. The second thing you do is to add and modify and delete your listings from time to time. That's it. Somebody calls you, make an appointment, go show a property and make $50,000. That's how business is done here. It can be that simple. The average search time on our service is two minutes and 30 seconds. It's trending towards almost three minutes. And we'll see if people take longer than that. We're not looking for people to spend time here except when they join to learn what's going on. And if you want to learn, you click on this learn button way up here at the top right hand corner. Now, I'm going to go down a little farther and you're going to see best practices 
for dealing in real estate worldwide. And I'm in touch with uh, some of the leadership at different organizations uh, and designations around the world. And one of them is the CIPS member, Certified International Property Specialist. And I happen to be a CIPS member. And real estate practices vary from country to country. And it's important that not only do you get educated in the practices of these companies, countries, so that you can prepare your clients for the process, because it is a process, but when connecting, conducting business in another country, you have to make sure that you are connected to either an association or to the agents in that country. In other words, you cannot put a property for sale in another country without connected to an agent in that country because you could be violating some laws and you don't know it and regulations, everything from employee employer contract, everything from getting paid, um, earning money in that area. All those issues can come to play in every single country of the world. If you can't find a real estate broker in that country, you should talk to a lawyer so that you don't get yourself into trouble someday. A lawyer in that country. But let's say you contact a broker in that country, you can split the listing with them. So you're going to notice that you should offer a co-marketing or a co-brokering relationship <clears throat> is the best way to handle it. So if you have a property, whether it's in Ecuador, Nicaragua, any place, you should get a hold of an agent in that particular country and split a portion of your commission, and that's up to you to decide how you want to do it. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to back out of here and go back to <clears throat> real estate in the digital age. A 2018 report from the National Association of Real Estate. <clears throat> And you can really read this. It makes for absolutely 100% interesting reading. And you can go through this, but 90% of real estate firms, you, you, you can just read all of this information today, how home buyers and commercial buyers are using technology in the search. And that's why our services have risen and continue to rise to the top because we're connecting people using technology. Now, you can search for CIPS members in any country globally, and I happen to be a CIPS member as well, but you can put in your country here and search. You can do the same thing with CCIMs. I'm going to click on search CCIMs globally, and you'll see that you can search here as well for a broker any place in the world. I'm going to go to the main website here. If I can click on it, I wonder if it'll take me there. How do you get back to the main website? Well, the main website is just ccim.com. Hang on, I should have shown that first maybe. But if you come to our website, it'll take you right to the search page. And you'll see I also happen to be a CCIM. This is one of the most wonderful organizations in the whole world, people. If you're ever thinking about being serious in commercial real estate, you definitely should take some of the courses and eventually get your CCIM designation. It's almost like the PhD of commercial real estate in the world for a broker. Um, I'm a past um, a chairman of the membership committee of the local CCIM chapter. I'm the past president. I'm also a world conference past chairman for the 1999 CCIM International Commercial Real Estate World Conference for the CCIM Institute. All of these things that, I've that I have personally participated in, it was the opportunity that the National Association of Realtors give, gave to me, that the CACIM Institute and the wonderful people that have their CCIM designations have given to me to help them conduct that world conference that was a tremendous success. Now, um, let's just move on. And we're going to recommend that everyone in the world definitely take, no matter who you are, if you're interested in real estate, you should take the CI101 course. You go to education, 
it's being put on. There it is, the first step, CI 101. Everyone in the world should take the CI 101 financial analysis for commercial investment real estate because it's going to teach you everything, the net present value, the cap rates, the internal rate of returns. It's going to teach you how to analyze the before and after tax consequences of investing in any kind of income producing real estate. And there's even development land, all kinds of things that you can learn. And CI 101, once you analyze or take that course, you're going to be able to paint a picture for every client that wants to invest in real estate. You'll be able to paint a beautiful picture for them, how they make money. And the next time you show a property and people say, well, I want to think about it, you are going to have a picture printed out in paper how that property makes money. One moment, please. Okay, I hope everyone is still there. Okay, let's continue on. Let's go down further. If you want to search our members of ICI World globally, you can click on search and you'll see a form come up like this. And you can just click on search the database. And bingo, you're going to see all the members come up on the screen. And what's wonderful about this too is they all have websites over here and you can click on their websites and when you click on it, it brings up their website so that you can learn more about that particular agent. And that's another reason why these websites are so very, very important um, for, for you to have them. Now, the other thing is you can search members by language spoken on ICI World and you'll see all the different languages coming up on the screen. And if you're looking for somebody that speaks Spanish, click on Spanish and bingo, there's all the brokers that speak Spanish on the network. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, and sometimes you can really relate to them good sometimes in your own language or culture, and this kind of helps you do it. And, and the roster of all the members, of course, is right here. You can search executive members, and you have this form. Now on this form, there's a market area where you can put in your city in here to search, and you can put in a specialty if you want. So theoretically, if you wanted somebody that specializes in gas stations, you could type in gas, the keyword, keep it short, three, four, five characters. That's one of the first lessons that you can learn. Because when I search the database, look at that. On the right hand side, you'll see all the members that specialize in gas stations. These people know about environmental audits, phase one, phase two, phase, phase three. They know about all these things. They know the issues of commercial financing. They know these things ahead of time. Now, if you're new in real estate and you haven't done a gas station deal, but you have a buyer, I'm going to suggest that you could offer one of these brokers a portion of your commission to help you do that first deal. There's a tremendous amount of work that has to be done on hotels, gas stations, and sometimes the brokers are fed up that they are doing all the work and have to split 50-50 on a commission. So maybe you should think some more reasonable way to compensate them for the knowledge, for the work that they do in the marketing of a property and you can change your commission split a little bit to reflect on it. But before you even do that, I recommend you talk to your broker of record first, to your manager first, to whoever's helping you in the office first, because they might have some good solutions in the office to help you market some of these kinds of properties. And why do I say that? Well, I'm going to show you something very, very interesting. In fact, I'm going to go back to our new website, the latest one here. And I'm going to show you how to do business every single day. If you wake up and you're not sure what to do, who to call, do this. Are you ready? And you can agree or disagree 
that it has the ultimate objective of making you a lot of money and being productive for you and your family in terms of revenue. Here we go. I'm going to click on search real estate. And one of the choices besides for sale by owner, besides residential, business or commercial, is business opportunities. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to change the has and the wants to a want. Now, I know some of you are just strictly residential, but you can help the commercial brokers. And commercial brokers, listen in. I'm going to show you how you can be making money from these residential brokers. I can even get you guys together, and they're going to supply leads for you. Watch this. <laughs> and there's a, many ways to do it. One is the website. You can be a residential broker, have commercial listings, trigger a lead on something commercial, Somebody calls you and says, can you help me? I'm interested in this particular building for $3 million. Can you help me? And if you're a residential broker, you should say, yes, I can help you. I will have someone call you back. And then you get a hold of that commercial broker who's got that listing and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? So, you can be making money that way, doing referrals. We have one broker who's done 15 referrals. He made $45,000. 75 minutes of work. Think about it. This is working smarter, not harder. I wish it was me that did that. I'm just operating the service on the computers. You have a chance to make a lot of money here. Now, if we get a lot of numbers, we're going to try to get this service taken over by real estate boards or by some entity should take this service over and continue it on in the world. So this is an announcement. Whoever's interested, take it over. Come on, talk to us. In the meantime, we're going to have nothing but fun in the meantime. Here we go. <laughs> I'm choosing business opportunities, the wants. Ontario, I'm going to search the database and 94 brokers with buyers come up on the screen these people are looking today I've talked to them they're looking today not next week not next month or two years from now they're looking today why because they could maybe end up getting a little better deal on the other hand there's a lot of businesses that are suffering that would like to get out before they go bankrupt these people can help these people can do joint ventures with them to keep them in business, give them a chance to keep going. Let's show you how it's done. This one here is wanted, 10 to $30 million. Retail investment, uh, one to $6 million. I'm not going to answer that. Wanted peel, manufacturing. People need us, they have to make an appointment. Uh, hotels. Niagara region, pharmacy. Okay, let's just start with a pharmacy. And the reason I did that is because that's common amongst everyone today. We're all going in and out to a pharmacy to buy something. When you go into the pharmacy next time, could you ask to speak to the owner? Now, some people say, oh, I can never get a hold. No, 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 no. Every pharmacy has an owner. If you can't even get to talk to the owner of a pharmacy. I don't even know if you should stay in this business because you don't have enough determination to even find the owner out of a business. Get your determination ramped up. You talk to the people that are there and they'll say, well, give us your card and we'll pass it on. So that's great, you pass it on. And then follow up later and keep following up. Don't give up until you get to talk to that owner. And one day that owner might call you on the phone. Or they might, behind the, they might be behind the counter. It happens to be one of the pharmacists. And he comes up and he talks to you. And you introduce yourself as a, as a, more, as a broker, real estate salesperson, and say, I'd like to ask you a question, but in privacy. And you should do these questions in privacy where the, their assistants and where their employees can hear. And you say, listen, if I could get you the price you wanted for your pharmacy, would you consider selling? That's it. If I could get you the price for your pharmacy, would you consider selling? The hotel up here, 
get a hold of the owner. If I could get a hold, if I could get you a price you wanted for your hotel, would you consider selling? How about this one, Taco Bell? If I could get you the price you wanted for your Taco Bell, could you consider selling? Would you? And there is it, restaurants, hotels, motels, gas stations, every kind of business, daycare centers, senior home care facilities. We've got one lady, she made $135,000. She asked the question, would you consider selling if I could sell your retirement home? And she found a buyer and sold 135000 She's a residential agent originally. Ask the right questions. It can make you a lot of money. This is fun stuff. I love hearing back. You know, I'm in a fortunate position because I've got a thousand brokers that I'm dealing with. And I get to hear back from them, the successes. And I ask everyone on this service, when you do your first deal, if you can remember this conversation in this video, whether you hear this video today, one year from now, or five years from now, because every one of our videos on our ICIWorld.tv YouTube channel is still effective to this day. They are still applicable to this day. I have my own unique way of trying to teach it. I don't know if it turns off some people or not. But behind it all is some genuine, proven results to help salespeople do deals. Read the testimonials online. That's just the beginning. I'm inspired by all the brokers that are doing deals here, just to help you connect to do business. Okay, so these are all the wants that you see here. But if the pharmacist says, well, looks around, he says, nobody's watching me. As a matter of fact, if you could get me $950,000 for my pharmacy, I would sell it today, but I don't want to give you a listing. If you're trying to talk to the owner of a condo that's got a private for sale, they're going to say, I don't want to give you a listing, but you bring me in $700,000 for my 500 square foot condo downtown Toronto and I'll pay you a commission. Or... It could be in Kijiji, somebody trying to sell a home privately. They're trying to, they'll pay you a commission if you bring them a buyer. They just don't want to give you a listing. If you have a pre-construction condo two years from now, one year from now, that's something that you could put on ICI World. But what do you say to an owner? And I'm going to show you now. Let me see if I can jump to it. One moment. Um, one second. So if anyone ever says to you, I want to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing at this time. You just became a secret agent because you're the only one that knows about it. Would you agree or disagree but if you bring me a buyer I'll pay you a commission when that happens people we have a way to get this information out to the public through the hands of licensed real estate brokers exactly what MLS is designed to do you know MLS started people don't realize it in the late 1800s I did research on it where brokers would sit around and talk and they were all they were all trying to get their own buyers, but they were having some problems because the other person had the buyer. And you're the one that maybe had the property and you guys didn't weren't getting together. <laughs> and this is happening when I went to the Global Alliance Program for the National Association of Realtors in Washington. I attended all the meetings. It was fabulous. I just felt part of a wonderful family of people. And in Europe, it's still tricky to get MLS people to accept MLS. In Panama, in, in different countries, it can be difficult because everybody's working in their own little area and they're getting their own little double enders so fast. It can, you know, but then sometimes things break down, things are not as fast. I don't know. But the common thing is do you want to get the highest and best price for your people? You should be sharing your information. Otherwise, 
are you really getting the highest and best price? In fact, I've got something to say right now. The highest sale on the Toronto Real Estate Board was $28 million recently, and we've done two deals over $28 million. That goes to show you that if you're not putting your commercial properties on ICI World, you can actually be missing opportunities to do deals and not realize it. That's always been the backbone of the definition of market value. What a, what a person will pay, what a vendor will receive if you leave it on the market for a reasonable length of time, and the buyer knowing everything about that property. Uh, it's not a scientific way of saying it. I could give it to you if you wanted to, but I'm layman's terms. And then putting it on the market for a reasonable length of time, giving everybody a chance at it. If you don't do that, I'm going to ask each and every one of you as professionals, are you really doing the best you can for your prospects and clients? If you don't include ICI World in your marketing plans, are you doing everything you can to help market and get the highest and best price in terms? You can start questioning everything you want. Where do we get a buyers? How many do you get? What's the number of hits? All those scientific things. Yes, the bottom line is, are you doing deals from a broker's point of view? We'll get into all of that stuff when we get to the next level of service someday. There's, these services have cost over $20 million to start what we've started from the ground up. We don't have all those little bells and whistles that all of you are used to getting right now. We'll get them, but we got to earn it from the bottom up first, and that's what we're trying to do here right even in this presentation. And one way to handle exclusive information that the majority of brokers still don't know. It's a simple thing. And it follows guidelines of the registration, how you get your licenses. Here it is. You ask the person, will you pay me a commission if I bring you a buyer? And no one has problems with that. When I ask that question in <clears throat> seminars and webinars, no brokers have problems with or salespeople have problems with that. The next question is, will you give me a 48-hour exclusive listing to show the property once I have a buyer? <clears throat> Some brokers and salespeople are, they've never worked a 48-hour exclusive listing. But you can set it for three months. That's what you're used to doing. Some people think that the only way to sell real estate is through a real estate board, through NLS. It's not the only way. You can sell it not on the real estate board. It's possible to do. The next thing, will you give me a 48-hour exclusive listing to show the property once I have a buyer? Now, our goal here, I've served on MLS committees, and I'm a member of the Canadian Real Estate Association, the Ontario Real Estate Association. I'm a member of real estate boards. I'm a CCIM and a CIPS. We're not taking business away from MLS that everybody can be afraid of. We're actually bringing more business to the hands of licensed real estate brokers and salespeople. Because we're talking to people that did not want to give you a signed listing. That's what I'm talking. If they give you a signed listing, put it on MLS. You don't have to put it on here. You've got the best exposure in the world. I'm talking about the ones where you can't put it on here. And then you ask the third question. May I advertise your property? This is verbal, remember, because <clears throat> if they give it to you in writing, put it on MLS. But if I can't get it in writing, you ask them for verbal permission. May I advertise your property? I'm going to do it without disclosing the address. And there's two reasons for doing that. In every province and every state, there is a requirement that a registrant, which is you and me if you're a real estate salesperson, shall not include anything in an advertisement that could reasonably be used to identify specific real estate unless the owner of that real estate has consented in writing. That's the bottom line. If you can't get it in writing, you're not allowed to even give an address. You're not even allowed to identify a property. I know you can go down the street in a 50-mile-per-hour zone in the U.S., 
50 kilometer zone in Canada. <laughs> and if you go 25 or 30 over the limit, you could probably do it 10 or 20 times, but sooner or later you get caught. Stay out of trouble. Don't give the address. There's a second reason. A lot of people get fed up with this real estate industry selling real estate because they gave it to somebody and they trusted that information with that other person and that other person went direct behind their back. When you're talking a $100,000 commission and you've got to split it 50-50, just for knowing something, that's a big deal. You could have worked years and years and years to get where you are to understand everything that you're doing and you finally come up with this one piece of information and you know how to handle that sale and then somebody goes behind your back after you shared it, that's money for your family to keep your family going. So we're asking everyone on this network to respect what the other people are doing by signing confidentiality agreements, by signing whatever agreements those people want signed, go to your brokers of record, go to your office owners of the real estate company and get counsel from the advisors in your office of how to protect yourself on showing a property. We're suggesting you never identify a property and that you never give the information on a property to anyone unless you have a signed listing of some sort, whether it's a 48 hour exclusive listing, a 90 day MLS listing, anything, get it signed. If you walk in to the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board on Don Mills, on the right hand side, they've got exclusive agreements. If you go into ARIA and you log into your real estate board login area, go to ARIA, look up exclusive agreements. They've got them there, these exclusive listing agreements. They've got agreements exclusive to cooperate. They've got exclusive agreements to advertise. They've got different agreements. If you want to get something signed, there's places where you can get it. Learn about it because if you learn about it and we don't get into agreements, I'm simply saying that you need something in writing before you ever show a property. Even though we've got almost people I'm announcing We've gone from 30 to 38, almost 40,000 listings here now on ICI World. 75% of them are not on real estate boards. But it doesn't mean that we don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or before divulging an address of a property to someone. And that will protect yourself for you and your family to earn that money that you deserve. Now, so the two reasons that you don't give an address, one is your licensing registration in your province or state or country, and the other one is that people can end up going behind your back. So what happens though, somebody calls you on the phone and, the very, and you, you advertise the property. You say a $13 million shopping center, um, greater Toronto area, and that's it. You don't say anything else. Or you got a $2 million home in Mississauga, double car garage, ground level family room, uh, overlooking Ravine Lot. There's no addresses there. I didn't say it was at the corner of Ossington and Bloor next to the Pizza Pizza. People could figure that one out right away. <laughs> I didn't say it was a SO gas station in Lindsay because there's only one. I would say branded gas station, 90 minutes to Toronto. Now, the beauty of all of this it's presenting more opportunities to the public. These are opportunities that are not on real estate boards, presented by licensed real estate brokers and salespeople who protect them in every trade in real estate, who make sure that all of the hundred different things you have to do to market a property are all getting looked after, who can qualify the tire kickers, the curiosity seekers, the time wasters, the non-approvals for financing, the fraud artists, they can get rid of all of that stuff and make sure that the sale goes through nicely. It's going to bring more business for licensed real estate brokers and salespeople, more business for real estate boards, for all the members of their association, for all the members of your chapter. If you have a commercial real estate chapter, residential chapters, business chapters, it's going to help bring more business for the public 
all of this more business because every trade in real estate contributes to the economy. It is good for the well-being of every country on earth. This is a world service that should be operating by all brokers in the world. And that's our presentation to get that done. Let's move on. <laughs> Somebody calls you on the phone. The first thing you're going to ask you is, what is the address? If you don't mind, I'd like to drive by with my family. And uh, if I like it, I'll call you back. Do you give him the address? Good. You all answered no. <laughs> I could hear you. <laughs> okay. What you say is that in this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first. But if it's okay with you, I'll show it to you on Saturday. You come to my office and I'll make an arrangement for you to see it. And then on Friday, the person that you had a verbal agreement with, if you find a buyer, you go get yourself a 48 hour exclusive listing to show the property. You know, in Lake Tahoe, there's a lot of movie star properties in the mountains. You can go skiing at the top and go swimming in the same day. And that in that Lake Tahoe area, it's beautiful, absolutely picturesque, lovely. No wonder a lot of movie stars live there. They sell properties this way there too. That's the way in a lot of places. New York City, they do a lot of things close to the vest. And there's other places. Now, you can advertise the opportunity without giving the address. It's wonderful. And it triggers leads for everyone. But you need a way that you can find the information within three to five seconds. ICI World is doing it. If you put your information on ICI World, if you're a member of the public, you can put your information in database number two absolutely free. And I have a question for every member of the public. If you're looking for something in a certain area, maybe you're looking for a home to renovate, or you want to find a home in a certain price range in a certain area, there's schools and parks and churches and all that stuff, you can post your want on the service. And if a broker finds a property that suits what you're looking for, would you like them to call you and tell you about it? then you can also put your information on our, our service. But if you have a local broker, you should be getting them to join the service. All the public in the world should get your brokers to join the service. And the reason is they don't have the largest reach without being on here. If you have a property for sale, would you like them to be selling your property and they don't even put it on a service that costs as little as 319 bucks for the whole year to be on? If they're not going to spend 319 bucks for you, is that the person you might want to be listing it with? you got a question. Are they doing everything they can to market your property? So I'm, I put it in a, this is my opinion, okay? And everyone has their own. I'm just here trying to help everyone kind of do business. This service should be taken over someday by real estate boards and let them provide it free for all brokers in the world is what it should be done. Same as MLS, it's not free. You pay it in your membership fees no matter where you are. Okay, let's move on. And um, that completes my session for today. We've uh, got it a lot less than what I normally do. I normally go a full two hours, but I'm gonna say that's it for today. But I will give you a surprise special to join. I'm going to go back to, let's go back here. And I'm going to go back to our having, uh, by the way, I'll spend one moment explaining something that's sometimes confusing for people. You'll see that I've gone to icaworld.com. That was the first service on the internet back in 1994, still operating to this day. And why the heck our email addresses have to be blocked by Google and sent to spam and all that stuff? I'm fed up with it. The way they can take legitimate mail and just keep throwing it into spam. And whether it's the young people there that don't give a darn about these established services that are proven, tried, proven, and tested, who follow the guidelines for everything you could want to, double opt-ins, 
We have opt-ins where they can opt out. We put unsubscribe right at the top of our emails. You don't want it, just click on unsubscribe. And if it's a problem, you can call me. My phone number's there. We're not hiding. There's other people that are creating problems and they've just eliminated all the email that we send out legitimately to our own members. And so to un, if you go check your email, check your spam people, you've got legitimate mail in spam to this day. And to get it out of there, you have to do two things. Number one, move your mouse over top the email and you can add it to your contacts and then click on it and report non-spam. We did that with some brokers and they still got it into spam. I don't know what's going on. It's like they don't want us to do business. They want us to deal with them and give them all the money. I don't know. Maybe that's a little out of left field. But the point is, it's upsetting. I want a legitimate service in the world where you can register that this is a legitimate concern and it has reasonable amount of complaints it can handle. And that's it. Can you imagine, I was doing at one time 100,000 emails to people that were getting our information on a regular basis and they liked it. And two people complained, two, out of that. They could have unsubscribed, they didn't, but they complained and we got shut down. Our whole friggin' server got shut down from these two people that had a little something bothering them. That shouldn't be. There should be proper redress to anybody that gets blocked, and there hasn't been. There should be proper redress that people, can you imagine if we had a million members, we could never email you a million emails. Maybe these companies don't want us to do it. They want us to just go through them. I feel that something should be done about this, and I'm saying it here now. If we have a legitimate email, we should have a registration body in the world, which I don't think there is one, where we can establish this is a legitimate email and let the people, if they want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. We got the information from maybe getting their business card, meeting them personally at one of our conferences, conventions, or shows, and that's how we're adding people to our service. Do we have to get a signed document with 20 pages of copyright and everybody's got to sign it to get an email? Come on. Anyways, make it easier. That's all I'm saying. I got legitimate members of our service and I can't get the regular email through to them. Okay, we've tried everything. Help us. If anybody out there can help us, help us. Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, yes, yeah, trying to go to... Um, here we go. Let's open this service up here. If you want to learn more, you click on that. And there's our tools for the business as well. Between those two, that can help you. Oh, yeah, membership. That's where I was going to go. I'm going to click on membership. If anybody, By the way, our real estate apps are free for you to install on your phone. Uh, let me see. It should be under tools, but I think I put it under contact us. I'm going to move it to tools. Tools was so long, they kind of put it here, I think. There they are. There's our real estate apps. They're free to use. You can put them on your phone. This HTML5 one, the printing is a little bit larger than the one that's on Apple. So you might try that one out because uh, it's a little bit larger, some of the printing, the results. So that's one of the tools that you can be using. But when it comes to uh, to joining, I'm going to go over here and show you, uh, click on membership. And we have a surprise special, which I'm not going to say. I'm just say go to this service. It is a one-time service for every broker in the world to get our special. And we've just put it up. You'll see the join, one-time special per member, special to start see the surprise special you can click on that and you get a special it's always been 319 per year if you don't hear it here people will come to the service and spend 319 per year and we appreciate that very much the more money that comes into this service the better it is for the industry 
it can help me in my old age put food on the table. But every money we put in this thing for the last 25 years has gone back into the service, just so you all know. Why? Because we're excited. I'm excited about it. <laughs> we're to this day more than ever, even from when we first started. And these are things that I've learned from other people in the business, the Dale Carnegie's of the world and Napoleon Hills, and all of the people in the business, the CCIMs, the people that encourage us to continue to build this service the people that have made money, but even the people that have made good connections. You know, if you make one connection here and sell something else, we like to take a little credit for that. And you're going to be meeting people here. You should be building your CRM. You can start from our service. The, the websites we supply, they have a built-in CRMs. The websites we have are as little as 16. They're as little as free for one month. And then $16.50 a month. And one of the reasons our booth is so busy at some of the shows that we do is because we make a statement that you could have a $30,000 website and it's not as powerful as the websites we're supplying from ICI World. And that's because we have three major world networks on them. And when people come to your website, not only do they have MLS, but they can also have other um, brokers offering their exclusive listings to you and there's the exclusive listings from ICI World. Some of these websites have the homes near me feature where if they go to your website they can click on the button get all the homes near them. It's fantastic. Your customers can have these websites and we can drive around once we get doing open houses again <laughs> and press on a button if they're in front of a house they can see that home on their phone from your website. Homes near me, from your website. There's a way to do it. They can even click on the souls and see all the homes near them. So if you visit a customer, get them to put your website on their mobile phone, they can click on the souls and see all the houses near them sold. It's amazing what's going on out here. Now, we can't have everyone calling us in every single day. So we're going to recommend... When you click on the contact us and come down here, you'll see simply make an appointment and you click on this button, make an appointment. And I look forward to speaking to each and every one of you, no matter how far in the future you're seeing this, please feel free to give us a call. We look forward to working with you. I'm going to uh, finish off this uh, right now and say thank you for the opportunity to present this to you. I can figure out how to stop the uh, sessions being recorded. There it is. Okay. Have a great day, everyone, and a great life, and stay safe. Sessions being recorded. Sharing.